Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so glad you're back with me here at Kids Church. It's been a couple weeks since I have seen you, so I've been looking forward to today. We have a good day today here at Barry um, Blast Theme Park. We're going to have some exciting stories about Twitch and Barry, ride on some great rides, but at the same time, we're going to talk about another fruit of the Spirit. Remember, the fruit of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The one we're going to emphasize today is peace. One I personally need. God knows I needed to work on this lesson. I tend to get really excited about things, or nervous, or anxious, or uptight, you know. And so this was a very good lesson for me. Before we get on with our conversation about peace, let's get into some worship. No matter what's going on in your life, worship will always get you focused in the right place on Jesus. It'll calm your heart make for a better day. So let's just look at our worship song today. Get up, boogie with me, have a good time, let's dance, and let's do it right now. Let's hear our song. participate now in our favorite game. This Name the Tree game has stumped me week after week after week. And when we look at the first picture, you know we're going to see the bark of the tree. So let's have a look at the bark of our tree for today. Okay. Oh my. Take a second and think about it. This one is a hard one. Okay. Did you have any guesses? 
out and it's lovely bark. It's perfectly beautiful bark, but it made no difference to me. So I had no guesses at all, except, okay, it's a nice fruit tree. We know it's a fruit tree. Let's now look at the leaves for just a second. Hmm, what did you think? Those are perfectly beautiful leaves. I love them, but I didn't recognize them. But I'm going to give you a clue about our fruit today. I know this is a little bit of a stretch, but I want you to think this is a tree that is very popular here in Michigan. People all over the United States enjoy it because we grow this tree. So have a look at the fruit and you'll know it like that. Have a look. You got it? You've got it. The cherry tree, Michigan cherries, they are the best. And you can enjoy them multiples of ways. I can't even think of a favorite. I love dried cherries in cookies. I love cherry cobbler. I love cherry pie, cherries jam, cherry jelly, cherry marmalade. It is all wonderful. And you know, not only is it beautiful to the eye, but it tastes delicious. And that's why fruit and these tree games are so important to us. Because we want to let people enjoy the beautiful fruit of the Spirit that others can see if we demonstrate them. And today we're talking about peace. Peace means to trust God, even when the times are difficult, in the hard times, and that is hard. Our problems will come. Jesus told us we will have troubles. We will have problems. But we can have peace because we can trust in a loving God who cares about us, who's powerful, and always knows what's best, and he can take care of that. We won't always turn out the way we wish, heaven knows, because God hears our prayers and cares about what we think, but he always knows better than we do. So, peace is trusting God with no matter what our situation is and believing that he knows best, and if we turn to him, what is right will always come out in the end. Now we want to see how Barry and Twitch are going to go along. You know, I am becoming more and more sympathetic with poor Barry. Can you imagine having to teach a Twitch, teach a Twitch how to do these things every week? Oh my gosh. Do you remember last week what happened to him? He got hit in the head with a bat two or three or four times, uh, which, you know, was not kind and gentle. And I'm thinking, holy fish, that boy has a long way to go. And today we're going to see what has to transpire before Twitch will get the idea about trusting God and having peace no matter what the circumstance. So let's have a look at our adventure today.
Well, not much training left for you, Twitch, my friend. Really? That's great! But that doesn't mean you can take it easy. It's time for the you-know-what. Hands in! <laughs> I win! Come on, Twitch. Here we go, say it with me. Love, Love joy, joy, peace, patience, patience kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control! Self -control. Woo! <laughs> hey, you got them all right that time! I did! I did! Wow! That's great! <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> Today, you're going to be learning about peace. Peace? Yes, peace! You can't call yourself an official Berry Blast theme park employee unless you've got a good handle on... Peace. And as always, we have a training video that I'd like for you to watch. It'll help you get a good handle on this. Okay. But uh, you are going to pay attention this time, right? Of course. Okay. Welcome to training video number seven, Peace and You. Billy knows that he's better at helping others when he has peace in his life. So as Billy comes to work, he wipes his feet and leaves his troubles at the door. Wipe my feet? Oh no! What if I forgot to wipe my feet this morning? Oh, oh no! If I forgot to wipe my feet, then I could attract all kinds of gunk into the park! Oh, oh no! If I tracked in gunk, it could be a disease! If it's a disease, then the half the city could be gone because of a plague! Oh, a plague! I better go home and wipe my feet! What's this? Oh my, this man has locked his keys in his car. How unfortunate. The car is full of delicious berry blast ice cream that could melt. This is serious, but Billy doesn't panic. Billy has peace because he trusts in God and prays to him for help. That's what helps him follow the first rule of any serious situation here at the park. Stay calm. Billy takes a moment for a deep breath and lets the man know that he is there to help and will do his best to get this problem solved. Billy shows this man where the nearest telephone is so he can call someone to open his car. And now a few minutes later, this gentleman is back in his car and headed home. Way to stay calm, Billy. Who is this? Oh no, this little boy has fallen down and hurt his knee. Injuries are serious. This boy could be really hurt. However, Billy knows that in order to truly help this boy, he needs to follow the number one rule for dealing with serious situations. Stay calm. Billy calmly explains to this boy that he is here to help and takes a look at the knee. The knee is only scraped, but Billy still calmly helps the boy to a first aid station. Way to go, Billy. Wait, what's that noise? Uh-oh, it's the park's fire alarm. Fires are very dangerous and should be taken seriously. Billy could run for cover while screaming, but instead he follows the number one rule of dealing with serious situations. Stay calm. Billy calmly helps park attendees exit the park and then waits in the designated area before being told that it is safe to re-enter. It seems that this was just a drill. That's good news. Yes, today might have been much worse if Billy hadn't asked God for peace. And when we have peace, we will be better able to help others. Yes, with peace in his life, Billy's future is really something to get excited about. Remember, having peace means trusting in God in difficult situations. And now it's your turn to be like Billy and have peace. All right, I was able to go home and wipe my feet. And now... <laughs> I'm ready for anything! <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. You work here, right? Uh, maybe you can help me. Uh, well, of course! As a Berry Blast theme park employee, I'd be happy to help you with anything. Great! Well, you see, uh, I have apparently locked my keys in my car. Locked? Yes, and I really could use your... Locked? <laughs> what if I forgot to lock my front door at my house? Oh, well, I really <laughs> don't know. And what if somebody decided to go inside my house and steal all my stuff? <laughs> and what if, just what if, a real estate agent decided to come in and sell my house? What if that same real estate agent decided to sell half the city? Half the city! I gotta go make sure my front door is locked! Oh, wait, where are you going? What about my car? Phew! 
too. <laughs> My door was locked, and now I'm ready for anything. <laughs> Help! Ah! Calm down, it's just me. You ran off earlier when I was trying to talk to you. And my keys are still locked in my car. Oh, yeah, I remember. You know, we really should get your keys out of your car. Yes. Now, I tried to call one of my friends earlier so that they could bring me the spare keys, but my cell phone isn't <gasps> getting a signal here. And cell phone? Yes, and I really could use... Cell phone? What if my cell phone is still at home on its charger? I, I really don't it know. It could be sucking up the power of half the city! Half the city! Do you realize that? It could be dangerous! I gotta get going! No, wait! Don't run off again! I really need your help! Y yes? Yes, Mom? I, I realized that I called you on my cell phone asking if my cell phone was on the charger. No, yes. I gotta go, okay? <laughs> Turns out my cell phone was actually in my pocket the whole time. <laughs> After all the things that have happened, I'm sure that I'm ready for anything now. <laughs> I'm still waiting! Oh, I'm not trying to scare you, so stop doing that. Oh, sorry. Now, why do you keep running off like that? I mean, really, come on. Where's the fire? <gasps> fire? It's just an expression. Oh, fire? No. Oh, no! What if my house is on fire? If my house is on fire, then it could take down half the city! Half the city! Oh, no, I gotta go make sure my house isn't on fire! No, 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 wait, wait, please don't run off again! I really need your help getting into my... Never mind. Wow, I'm so glad that my house didn't catch on fire. <laughs> that would have been awful. <sighs> Hello, Twitch. Ah, we're burning. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I've had the craziest day. There's been all these serious problems that I've been having to deal with. Yeah, I know. You know? Yes. I've been observing you today, Twitch, and how you've been dealing with that man who needed help getting his keys out of his car. So, how did I do? Not so good. No, he really needed your help, and you kept stressing out and running away. Not so good? Not so good! No, I'm a failure! Oh, oh goodness. I'm gonna lose my job! If I lose my job, I can't make any money, and if I can't make any money, I can't get any food. Oh. This, or, uh, uh, uh. this is why you fail. You keep getting stressed and freaking out. But it's serious. Yes, it is, but worrying and getting freaked out won't solve the problem. You were supposed to demonstrate peace today. I don't even know why I'm asking this, but didn't you watch the video? Didn't you watch the video? The video clearly stated that in order to have peace, you have to wipe your feet before leaving your house and you have to leave your troubles at the door. And I left my troubles at the door, but I had to keep going back home to fix them. What? I thought about all the peace that I could stand. That's not peace. It isn't? No. Having peace means that we trust in God in difficult times. If we really trust in God, we don't need to get stressed or panic. Yes, there's going to be problems, but if we trust in God and put our focus on Him, we don't have to worry. I don't get it, Bernie. Of course you don't. I think you could benefit from another lesson from the life of David. Come on. Okay. Get in there. Welcome to the Fight Coaster. Please fasten your seatbelt and keep your hands and feet inside the car at all times. When you read through the life of David, it's clear that his life wasn't always easy. In fact, David faced more than his fair share of problems. When he was young, he had to face a huge problem. In fact, it was a problem that was over nine feet tall that wanted to kill him. Do you remember who that was? That's right, Goliath. Well, later, David had to deal with the problem of being hunted down by King Saul, and he had to run away and hide in caves just to stay alive. Well, then he became king. But even then, problems didn't stop. As king, David had to fight war after war just to protect his people. At one time, David even had to face his own son who was trying to get rid of him and crown himself king. You know what though? Despite of having to deal with all of these problems, David had peace. And you know why? Because he trusted in God. Many 
examples of what true peace is are shown in the Psalms that David wrote. These Psalms can be found in the book of Psalms in the middle of our Bible. Now, you might be asking, what is the book of Psalms? I'm glad you asked. The book of Psalms is a collection of songs and prayers written by many different people. And you know what? David wrote more Psalms than anyone else. In fact, he wrote 73 of them. Now, many of David's Psalms talk about peace, and many of those Psalms were written while he was dealing with a serious problem. Take Psalm 3, 1 through 6 as an example. It says, O oh Lord, I have so many enemies. So many are against me. So many are saying, God will never rescue him. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me. You are my glory, the one who holds my head high. I cried out to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy mountain. I lay down and slept, yet I woke up in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. I am not afraid of 10,000 enemies who surround me on every side. Probably the most famous of David's Psalms is Psalm 23, where David paints a beautiful picture of having peace by trusting in God. Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. David understood that the only way to have peace is to trust in God, especially when times are tough. We should understand this too. Life is not always going to be easy, but no matter what happens, we need to trust that God loves us and that someday we will be with him forever in heaven. When we remember that, we will have peace in every situation, no matter how bad it is. Wow, I need to stop eating before I ride that thing. <laughs> so that's what peace is all about. Peace is all about trusting in God with my problems. You know, come to think about it, I guess I didn't show much peace whenever I was helping that guy earlier. You know, the next time I see him, I'm gonna apologize to him for the way that I acted. You know, Bernie, I... Oh, no, not you again. Look, I don't have time for another one of your panic attacks. Uh, I, I need to find someone who can actually help me. Well, I'll help you, okay? Right. You're just going to freak out again and, and run off. No, 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 no. I won't this time, okay? I realized that I've been too focused on my own problems, and I realized that the way that I was acting wasn't right. And so, if you'd like me to, I'd like to help you. Really? Yes. I'm trusting in God with my problems so that I can have peace. Well, I'm certainly glad to hear that, because it was me the entire no! time! <laughs> Again? Uh, again? Uh, I didn't think it was humanly possible for a person to have that many disguises. Yeah, it's great. Anyway, I'm proud of you. You really look like you've got a good handle on peace. You know, I know you have problems. I mean, we all do. But we need to have trust in God in order to have that peace when the problems come. Yeah, you're right. And I want to trust in God so that I can have peace when the problems come. If we have peace, we'll be better at helping others. Took you a little while to learn that, but you got it. Good job. Well, thanks, Bernie. <laughs> Don't mention it, Twitch. <laughs>
Did you think of that? I hope none of you start freaking out all the time over everything the way Twitch did. Oh my goodness gracious, that does not help the situation at all. That is not even trying to turn to God with trust and have the peace he can give us. We need to always look to God. When things happen, yeah, you can go crazy. You can scream, you can holler, you can cry, you can have a fit and totally panic. Or you can make a choice to trust God and be peaceful. In fact, we have a wonderful scripture today. In the Bible, it tells us that Jesus spoke these words to his apostles. He spoke them to us. Jesus said, I'm leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace that I give you, the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. And I love the way my Amplified Bible says it. At the end it says, don't let your heart be troubled or afraid. Don't let it. Take control of that heart and know that Jesus himself has given you peace. In fact, when you begin to feel like you're going to go into a panic, speak to yourself. Say, self, you have peace because it has been given to you by Jesus himself, and he wouldn't take it back. So speak to yourself, say it out loud. Don't be afraid. Heart, don't be afraid, because you can have peace, because Jesus has given it to you. So I'm hoping this week, no matter what challenges, whether they're little ones trying to choose what kind of a jacket, a lighter jacket, heavier jacket, shorts to wear, or whether it's a major problem that maybe you and your whole family are experiencing. Jesus' peace is not only given for small problems, he gave it for the big ones that make us turn and be totally twisted up inside just as much. Trust God and have peace. So I hope we, you and Barry and, and Twitch and I, we've all learned a little bit about peace this week. So this week, try your best. No matter what you face, small or big, try to remember and that peace is in you. It has been given to you by Jesus. And practice peace. Talk to yourself. Count on Jesus and have peace. See you next week. Hope you have a good week. Welcome to the Berry Blast Carnival Games Fruit Shoot. Pick the fruit that will get shot the most. Bananas, apples, oranges, or grapes. Ready, set, shoot! I mean, great! 